Welcome to Talk Nerdy to Me, where we talk about various nerdy topics that we choose out of a hat. My name is Matthew Klein, I'm the Head of Arts and Entertainment Editor. My name is David Yearwood, and I'm the Assistant Arts and Entertainment Editor. And I'm Zach Davis, Chief Copy Editor. Okay. Let's start another episode of Talk Nerdy to Me. Do it. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we got Monster. Alright, um, you want me to favorite read? TV series. Oh, oh gosh. Who wants to start this one um, off? One of mine is it's not, it wasn't, it was not popular. All of them was on television. It was only on for one season and then seven episodes. But when it came on Netflix, it was huge called Jericho. Oh, oh man. Oh, I heard about it's, that. The, the, the acting isn't it. great. The acting isn't great. But the story is so awesome that it's just, it's such a great show. It got a lot of popularity on Netflix, and they're actually thinking about sci-fi. Kind of, it's it, the story is it's just a small town in Kansas, mm -hmm. and then this like terrorist organization uh, <coughs> set off nuclear bombs in like every single major city in the United States. So it's all like anarchy and stuff. Oh, wow. But the story that goes from it is just incredible. And they oh. even started a comic book series off of it. It was just it is so good because it's got so much fan base that they started a whole comic series that came afterwards to extend the story. Sounds cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to go with uh, Firefly. Oh. Yeah, I mean, um, it's hard. To, it's I, I always reserve myself. I try not to pick favorites until I'm like on my deathbed. But there's, there's so many. Yeah, there's I mean, so you many. Got that tattoo. Yeah, I have I have a Firefly tattoo too. <laughs> but like the show, um, uh, again, what ran for like one season had a movie, mm -hmm. um, insanely popular called Classic. Um, you know, there's uh, everybody's always starting rumors about it coming back. I know they never will. So fun. Yeah, never will. Never but uh, Nathan, 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 Nathan Fillion like lives on just uh, uh, Firefly coming out again. Yeah. But they mm -hmm. announced the Firefly Online game, which sounds like a really good idea. Cool. So um, it just um, to. Uh, Give it a description for anybody who hasn't seen it. It's essentially um, it takes place in space, like recent space exploration. Um, it's basically it was one of the presidents for making the big uh, space western uh, style really big. While it's a, you know uh, takes place in space and it's very sci-fi, it has a lot of western elements yeah. in the guns and the planets, the deserts, the cowboy style. Um, so it really takes <laughs> the table. I was so excited. Um, it really takes the. Uh, whole western the space element um, and ran with it and it made it pretty popular in a recent series. Well the so. thing with Firefly is really shows the problem with network television is when it came out they didn't they didn't really think that it was that great so they, they put out like one episode and like two weeks later they put out like three episodes yeah. and then they put them out of order and they never really gave it a chance so yeah. that's, that's what happened. It really, and focus groups too like yeah. Yeah. or if you yeah, it was, yeah, it was surprising too because uh, Josh Whedon does, does it. He's really big, obviously, in Marvel yeah. now, and uh, uh, with Cabin in the Woods, that recent success. Um, he did Buffy, and you know, coming off of that and everything, yeah. you think it would have stuck around longer. But you know, like it right after it dropped the face off the face of the earth, there was this huge collection of fans for yeah. it, which um, it, they, you know, it's years later, and we're still waiting. But hindsight, yeah. hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah, I guess. I mean, there's always crowdfunding. Oh yeah, yeah no, true. No, it, I thought, uh, that's one thing I, that might happen would be like a Kickstarter or something to make like they did with uh, what was that? What was that show? You know what I'm talking about? The I, Kickstarter yeah, show. Yeah, the Kickstarter that they made a movie. Oh man, I yeah, yeah, it's right on the. I don't know. Yeah, it's with the girl from uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll have to get back yeah. to you on that. But yeah. <laughs> I, we all, we yeah, all, we all, we all like, we're so like, professional. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so mine's on order. Um, yeah. <laughs> it is one of the best TV series ever, hands down. Well, it was the it was original. Like, yeah, it was the first. It was like the first major one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's our opinion. Yeah. But yeah, but it's I. I mean, obviously, this original one has been canceled since. Um, but it has so many years. Like, there's so many episodes to watch, and really they never get old. Because even though they say it's not based on real life events, they totally base episodes on real life events. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Which is like, awesome. And Jack McCoy is awesome. Oh yes, he lays down the law. <laughs> <laughs> and now he does like tax commercials or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, and the, the, reason, Saul. <laughs> yeah, the reason behind that though is because people feel he's so trustworthy just from Law and Order. Yeah, just yeah. from that TV show that he is like basically in character on these commercials, even though he's not. Yeah. Um, also, I think it's one of the only shows that, that had spinoffs that were actually still insanely popular. Yeah. I mean, yeah, SVU is good. And yeah. It's, it's not, there's there's, there's, there's the too original, many. There's too but, many cop shows now. Like there is, yeah. there is like six different cop shows on every single network. <laughs> that's that's right. the only thing that I that I because Law and Order was was like in my opinion was like the original big time cop. 
Yeah. Well, it definitely like like that had like a different story every single episode. Like, yeah. Even though there were there were overarching stories that would happen throughout the season, but each episode was a different story basically. And creativity wise, the way they set up the episodes where they would just flash forward, and you would you would you would see scenes that the cops hadn't seen yet. Yeah. So you would know, and like that would actually create suspense and be yeah. like, are they gonna be able to figure this yeah. out? Because sometimes they didn't, and that's what it was yeah. also good. Yeah. The writing was sometimes they the cop the good guys did win. Yeah. And so that made you keep watching every. That, that's 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 probably part of why it lasted so long. Well, yeah. Because yeah. if they if they solved the crime every episode, you're like, oh, they're gonna solve. I mean, freaking uh, like the the baby cop show, whatever. And yeah, yeah, it's like they solved it every single time. every single time. It's freaking boring. There's too many. There's too many. They need it's to cut redundant. it down. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. All right, well, this episode's coming to an end, so uh, thank you for watching Talk Nerdy to me. And uh, if you like this video, throw a comment down if you got any ideas or topics you'd like to us to discuss. Or if you'd like to come on the show, that'd be cool too. Send us an email at slateae.gmail.com. And uh, thanks for watching. You guys have anything else? Nope. All right, we'll see you next time.